All right, hello everyone. Now, before we get started with our lesson today, just a couple of uh, housekeeping notes. For those who are using Seesaw, what I'm going to be doing starting this week, um, I will be posting our lessons on Sunday evening uh, for Monday and Tuesday, and then Tuesday evening, posting for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just to reduce the amount of assignments that you have within the Seesaw account. Hopefully you'll find that helpful uh, and it will allow you to plan out some of your activities for the week if that is something that you have been doing at home. Um, today we are going to be trying an activity called a foxtail throw. So um, today there's a few materials that you're going to need to make your foxtail. These are lots of fun. Um, this was passed down to me from uh, Blair Robillard uh, who taught an indigenous games course at the University of Manitoba that I had the opportunity to take last year. So uh, we're going to take a look at how to make your foxtail. I have the finished product here. Um, we're going to go through a quick video on how to make your own foxtails. For this, you will need, um, if you've got pantyhose or leggings at home uh, that you can use, if you've got an old pair that uh, you don't mind cutting up, that works best, but you can also use a long sock. Uh, you will need a balloon and a balloon filled with some rice, and I'll show you in the video how to do that. Um, Let's start making our foxtails. starting uh, in a similar position. So I'm going to start off by getting my foxtail to rotate 360 degrees. So I'll show you the side view as well. And I'm holding the foxtail from the tail portion of my foxtail. So I've got the ball here and then the tail of the foxtail. So as I go to throw my foxtail, it's going to be similar to an underhand throw in that I'm going to step with my opposite leg. I'm going to release my foxtail out in front of me but it is important that I get that rotation with my foxtail going first. So as you have time to practice with your foxtail, you're going to find that uh, that release point for your foxtail. Now, just a safety piece, um, you're going to need a good amount of space with these foxtails, especially for some of our older kids, these foxtails, foxtails really can fly. So if you're around any large trees, they do get stuck in the trees easily, so you'll need an open space with your foxtail. Um, the goal is, and you can do this on your own as well, after you've thrown your foxtail in the air, as it's coming down, the ball should be coming down first, and that foxtail is going to be flying behind. Your job is to try to grab it by the foxtail as you catch it. So you don't want to try to catch the ball, you want to try to catch the tail part of the foxtail. So as you throw it, as it comes down, you want to try to grab that tail part of the foxtail. So of course you can play this with a group of people, uh, or like I said, you can play it on your own, trying to throw your foxtail up in the air and to catch the tail part as it's coming down. These are lots of fun. I'd love to see a video or a picture um, after you give it a try. A reminder, Monday is a PD day, um, but you can expect for those who are using Seesaw, again, Sunday evening, I'll have your assignments posted uh, for Tuesday, being Monday's a PD day. Uh, and then Tuesday evening, I will post three activities for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So a bit of a change. Google Classroom, we will keep things the same, uh, but you will notice on the YouTube channel that all of those videos will be made available Sunday evening for Monday, Tuesday, and then Tuesday evening for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I hope that's helpful for you all. Um, thank you so much and have a great weekend. <laughs> 